Okay, good day everyone. So today, we will learn how to make our own 5x5 magic square ng napakadali. Paano ba natin ito gawin ng napakadali? Okay, so, but before that, please subscribe to my channel, ShanJJJ, for your updates. Okay, sige, umpisa na natin. So, we will make our own 5x5 magic square. That is arranging the numbers 1 to 25 into a 5x5 table such as this one or this one. So, kung nakita nyo, dalawang mag, uh, magkaibang magic square yan. Dahil, actually, meron tayong dalawang uh, methods how to do the magic square of the 5x5 dimensions. Okay? So, let us start. Let us learn how to fill the 25 numbers in the box easily. Okay, for uh, we have two methods actually how to do it. Okay, we will start with the method one. Okay, how to do the method one. First, list all the 25 numbers in ascending order in a 5x5 five five like this. Ayan, so, ililista lang natin no, from 1 to 25. And then next step, we will draw diagonal lines in between numbers like this. Ayan, so nakita nyo na highlight yung uh, nasa gitna na 5x5 five five, kasi dyan natin ipapasok lahat yung magic square ay yung mga numbers I mean so lahat ng nasa labas yung mga colored numbers ipapasok natin yan sa loob ng uh, highlighted 5x5 uh, five five table so how to do that transfer all numbers outside the 5x5 five five table to its farthest opposite inside the table so tulad nito Yung 1, 2, and 6. Ilalagay natin siya doon sa kanyang opposite. Doon sa may uh, kabila, no? Sa pinakamalayo. So, 1, 2, and 6 mapupunta dyan sa dulo ng arrow. Then we have the 4, 5, and 10 doon sa kabilang dulo ng arrow. And then next, we have the 16, 21, 22 mapupunta sa kabila. And then we have this 20, 24, and 25 doon sa kabila. And that's it. It is completed. Okay. So, we'll just make a little turn para tatayo yung ating magic square tulad nyan. So, we have the magic square. Why magic square? Dahil nakita nyo nga lahat. When you add all the, each of the rows, each of the columns, or each of the two diagonals, the sum is iisa lang, 65. Because 65 is the magic sum. Okay, now we will go to the second method. Okay, first step, we will draw the square this way, blank square muna. Then we will start putting numbers from 1 to 25 dito sa blank table. So, papaano we have the rules. Rule number 1, uh, start putting 1 in the center top. So, dito. Para tayo mag dito, dito, dito na side. Center na taas ng ating table. Okay, rule number 2. The next number will be put this way. Always go up and right. Yan yung palaging uh, roll natin, no? Up and right. So, tulad nito, maumpisa tayo dito. Umpisa tayo dito. But we go up and then right. But since this is blank, dun tayo sa baba mapunta. So, that's it. Yan yung uh, exemption. And then after that, dun na naman. And then after that, right and up dito. But since blank yan, Mapunta naman tayo dun sa kabila dito. Okay? So, go up uli. Papunta naman dun. Ayan. So, the other rule is, ayan, if the movement above, kung, kung hindi empty, kung hindi empty yung susunod dyan, dapat pero may laman na, will go down here. And then, saka tayo mag up and right. Up and right. Ganoon lang palagi, no? So, up and right doon. So, since, ayan, wala dyan, we go down there. Ayan. So, ganyan lang yung rule na tatandaan natin. The second rule, eto. Okay, so, i-rest ko muna to. Mayroon tayong second rule. If um, the movement goes above, yung kaya na, na-explain ko na. Yung galing dito, tataas ka, walang laman doon, we'll go here. Yung isa naman, kung sa right ka punta, from here you go there, Ayan, up and right. Walang laman. So, dun naman sa kabila. Dun ka mag-umpisa. And then, up, up, up. Okay, that's it. So, we'll try to do that in our example. So, 
Ayan, maglalagay tayo dito ng numbers from 1 to 25 to make it a magic square. Ayan, pinalaki natin para klarong-klaro. So again, saan tayo mag-uumpisa? Dito, dito, 12 ng harika niya dyan. Uh, kaya nandun ng 1. And then, dito yung susunod na 2. Pero dahil nasa labas nga. Okay, so go down there, 2. And then up. Up and right, doon. And then up and right, dito, but blanco. So doon na siya. And then up and right, dyan. O oh, since meron na doon sa 1, go down. And then straight na papunta siya doon. And then doon. Okay, again, yung rule kanina. Pagpapunta doon, walang laman. So, go down there. Yan ang susunod. And then, papunta doon ang sunod, 10. Pero wala dyan. Dito na tayo sa kabila. 10. And then, dahil susunod niya is nandun sa 6, it is already filled. So, go down here. Down and then, straight na yan. Papunta doon sa corner 12, 13, 14, and 15. Dahil corner yan, go down for the next number. And then, up ulit doon. And wala dyan, of course, dun. And then, up, wala. Wala naman dun sa up nya. So, sa baba siya. And then, straight naman siya punta dun. With 19, 20, 21. Is hindi pa punta sa 16. Sa baba na siya. Kasi filled up na. And then, going up there. 22. And then, 23 dun. But wala. Papunta dun yung 23. And then, go up there. 24. And then, last. Kasi papunta siya dun. And then, go down here. For 25. That is how to fill the magic square so easy. Ayan. So, nakita natin bakit ganun ang result niya. Bakit tinatawag na magic square. Dahil lahat ng kanyang uh, sum, lahat ng column, rows, and diagonals are all the same, which is 65. Okay. So, actually, we can make magic squares with any of the following. Hindi lang yung 1 to 25 ang pwedeng gawin. Maraming pwede. Pwede ka mag-umpisa 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up to... Uh, 25 consecutive integers. Ayan. Kahit saan ka mag-umpisa, pwede. Kahit nga sa 100, 101, 102. Hanggang sa 1 to 5. Pwede rin yung any arithmetic sequence with 25 terms. Actually, yung kanina, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, arithmetic yun. Dahil when you uh, nakukuha yung next term by adding the uh, constant number which is 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4. Ganon yung arithmetic sequence. Same lang yun sila. The next, we have also the 25 consecutive integers that are multiples of any number. Ganun pa rin yun. Uh, arithmetic pa rin yun. So, example, 3. Ano ba ang multiples ng 3? So, 3, uh, 6, uh, 12, 9, 12. So, ganun. So, pwede yun siya hanggang sa 25 na multiples. Okay? So, example. We will make our own magic square with even numbers from 4 to 52. Okay, this time, even numbers mula 4 hanggang 52. So, how to do that? Okay, palakihin muna natin para mas klaro. So, ganun pa rin ang ating method. We'll always start here. And, ganyan. 4. Mag-umpisa sa 4. Sunod is 6. Wala dyan. Okay, go down here. Okay, 6. Tapos, walang kanina. Just follow the rule. Just while ago. 7. Okay, 10. 12, so sa 4 siya susunod pero not empty go down, 14 then upright, 16, upright 18, upright, pero nasa taas na so bababa siya, 20 and then 22 24, 26 28, 30 32, so bibilisan ko lang ha kasi tapos na tayo kanina sa method na ganito, okay so iniba lang natin yung given okay, ayan yung pagkakasunod how to arrange or fill these numbers into this square and we are done that's it the magic square so kita natin so the magic sum of this magic square is 140 and so as what i have uh, explained also last in my last video that these two methods are applicable to all other add ordered magic squares hindi lang sa 3 by 3 na ginawa natin dati saka yung 5 by 5 na ginawa natin ngayon Pwede rin sa 7 by 7, 9 by 9, 11 by 11, and so on. So, yan po. Pare-pareho lang sila ng style. And then, in my next video, I will show you how to create even-ordered magic square like 4 by 4, 6 by 6, yung mga even numbers naman ng dimensions. Kasi, iba naman yung mga rule nito. Uh, at saka, hindi pare-pareho, no? 4 by 4, iba. 6 by 6, iba. Unlike dun sa mga ad... Uh, 
and that is why para malaman nyo yung mga tungkol dyan so please be updated always so now please try this make your own uh, 5x5 magic square using add numbers from 7 to 55 okay use method 2 para mas madali no? so mag umpisa kayo sa 7 uh, 9 ganon mga add numbers so ito yung magiging resulta no? so the magic sum will be 1 by 5 okay that's all thank you for watching until next time, bye!